I'm going to read uh, 6 Ezra 16, verse 38. It says, As when a woman with child in the ninth month bring forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pain, pains compares a womb, which pains. When the child come forth, they slack not a moment. So as the deliverance, get closer to the deliverance, those plagues will be increasing. It's not going to hold, it's not going to fall back. It's only going to get worse and worse. That's why now uh, you're hearing about inflation. Now, the only thing you can talk about now is this hyperinflation that's about to take place. It's not going to slack. You know? He says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. See? And that goes back to the point I was making as well, is that we got to, you know, hope that the Lord, Yah by Shemal, shall keep us in this time to come. Because it said that sorrow shall come upon it on every side, meaning no outlet, man. It's not just going to, it's going to be an outlet. Yeah, I mean, you've been a nigga this whole time. And somehow you're going to get out of this sticky situation. No. It talks about that also in Amos, the fifth chapter. You know, you flee from a lion, and you, you run into a bear, uh, or somehow you escape that, and you, you run into a house on a lean your hand upon a wall, and ultimately that serpent going to bite you, which is the muscles, man. That just say you get through these plagues, you know, these many, these many uh, scourges the Lord is going to bring. Well, that's one thing you're not going to escape is those missiles. You know? And it's at every side. So that's why we look from on high for help, man. You know? Yahweh Bashmel Shai has given us the report. So now we know what to pray for, man. You know, in this, in these troubles sometimes. So I'm going to end off on this in the book of Ecclesiastes so rock. Chapter 18, verse 23, it reads, Before thou prayest, prepare thyself, and be not as one that tempted the Lord. So the Lord, you know, before you go to your house by smell, shall you uh, prepare on what you are uh, about to pray for, which we know the word pray goes back to beg. You know? It says, and the, and the Lord has given us a hint on what to pray for. Verse 24, it says, think upon the wrath that shall be at the end and the time of vengeance. See, going back as we was uh, read earlier concerning that time of wrath, it's the same thing, that time of vengeance where the Lord is set to pour forth his uh, anger, man. So it says, think upon the wrath that shall be at the end and the time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. See, so that's why we pray for uh, mercy for the Lord to keep us in faith because those are the uh, key things you know uh, it talks about that uh, the strength of salvation the wisdom and knowledge shall be uh, you know stability of our times and strength of salvation man. this is what's going to contribute to us being kept through spirit by Yah by Shemal Shah you know hoping that we be careful in that. Why? Because we know concerning that rap that's about to be at the end, these troublesome times that we're entering into. You know? So, yeah, I can not just hold it with edifying. I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Racha, Kudash, that will honor us to the pastor and elders of great millstone. Shalom to the elect. This is word and our truth. Amen. Sincerity. Shalom.